want to just talk about when you're going outdoors to do plein air sketching and painting. Some people just uh, sit down and they just start attempting this huge vista. Uh, especially as you're a beginner, that's probably not the best idea to start with. It's a good idea to warm up your art muscles at the beginning just by doing a few little small sketches of things. Just to get your art brain into the swing of things and then once you've done a little warm up then if you've had a bit of experience then go ahead and do a sit down and enjoy uh, drawing or painting a whole vista. But I recommend like when you first sit down and get into the environment just do some little vignettes of little tiny sketches. So I'll just show you uh, the, uh, my journal after I've done some of those things in um, the workshop that we just had. So I'll just switch the camera around. There we are. And see if you can see my little journal here. I'm in a bit closer. So we can see it properly. So this is a little journal that I was using on the day and it's just a little I always keep the labels off the outside of the journal in the inside of the back cover so I know what it is I'm dealing with so this is a, a Claire Fontaine gold line art journal which has got really nice paper I was really surprised at how well watercolors come up so this is from a previous workshop that I did and I just did some little tiny flowers in watercolor just by sitting with the uh, sketchbook on my lap and then when we started our new workshop, I put a little washi marker on the page here. So just a little washi tape, just to say this is a different day out when we went out to Mount Kufa and did some quick sketching. We just did a sketch at that entrance just to warm up. And then on the inside, the first thing I did was without any paint or any color, just with a pencil, I started to have a look at the little Japanese statues that were around. There's about half a dozen scattered around in the Japanese garden there. And all I did was just draw those standing in front of them, just draw with a pencil, just the outline shape of those. I didn't do any painting at that stage. I just started out by warming up with a couple of little pencil drawings only of these shapes of the statues, just with a couple of guidelines of what was above, I know there was a weeping willow above there, so I did a couple of lines in there. But just a vague sort of outline. That's a really good way to warm up, just doing five little quick sketches like that in pencil only. And then I kept going with the drawings and paintings as I went around. And I quite love doing little small paintings, especially in a small journal like this. I didn't take a big pad of paper in this case. And after I'd done all of the other paintings, then at the very last bit when I was a little bit tired, if I've been drawing and painting for four hours straight, your art mind gets a bit tired, especially if, been, if you've been focusing correctly on shapes and tones and colours in the right way, then your mind can be, it's quite a tiring process to be making all those decisions correctly. It's when you relax and start enjoying yourself that modern mind takes over and draws the wrong thing. So at the very end of the session, after we had a bite to eat and just were just about to wind up, we had a little bit of extra time. My mind was a little bit tired, so I just came back to these ones after doing all my other paintings in here. Then I came back to these ones and then I just added some spot colour. So that's easy to do that sort of thing. Just add a little bit of watercolour in at the last minute. So when I'm warming up, I did these pencil sketches. And then when I'm sort of warming down from the art fitness session, then I come back to these and just do a little bit of light watercolour to add into them, which doesn't take too much taxing of the brain. Getting the shapes and the tones is the more taxing part of it. So uh, that's a really good way to do it. Just warm up first and then keep something simple and fun for when you're finishing up at the end of it. So there's your tip for the day. Thanks for watching.